The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. Carolina, North Carolina, the city of Charlotte have opened us up to one of the age-old professional sports debates. Should you give boatloads of money? Maybe what's bigger than a boatload? Uh, yacht loads, ship loads. A Titanic load. A Titanic load of money to uh, someone that already has more money than they could know what to do with. The city of Charlotte uh, and the, the Charlotte City Council voted to approve. They agreed to give a billionaire hundreds of millions of dollars. Panthers owner David Tepper, who is worth worth roughly twenty billion, that's billion with a B, as in boatloads of money, will get six hundred and fifty million dollars in taxpayer money for renovations to the team's twenty nine year old stadium. After the Charlotte City Council voted seven to three to approve the puzzle, the the proposal on Monday night. And as part of the agreement, Tepper will contribute $150 million. He will also be responsible for cost overruns. Doesn't it feel like giving David Tepper more money it feels a bit like giving salt water to a deep sea fisherman? To me, it just feels like it's given him a lot more power than he already has. Feels like giving ice to an Eskimo. Feels like giving sand to a beachgoer. Like, you already have it. Why do you need ours? This is tough for me. It's tough for me because I see both sides. I can't help but think about what that $650 million could do in other, other ways, right? Think of all the other stuff you could do for $650 million. Think of just 650 super deserving people. I'm talking about like heroes. I'm talking about people that lay their lives on the line, city workers, something, teachers, something, military, something. You give 650 of them a million dollars. Seems like that would be better than giving it someone that already has billions. Right? And and then I know those surface level thoughts. Like I I I caution against just using that direct A to B, like, uh, oh, that money could be spent on blank, all right? Go, you can go do the whole, right? The the thing you do when when the the Mega Millions gets over a billion, and you start doing like you could buy this many Corvettes, you could buy this many house, you could buy this many Costco hot dogs, you could buy this many, and you just play that game. Yeah, six hundred fifty million dollars is gonna buy a lot of stuff. Could do a lot of good, right? Every time anyone drives over a pothole in Charlotte, guess what they're gonna be thinking. Yeah, the money to fix this pothole probably went to David Tepper's pocket so he could build a better stadium. But you also got to know the way the world works. Keeps the Panthers in Charlotte. Is that a, is that a small price you pay for all of the good and all the economic benefit that comes with having massive NFL football games in Charlotte eight or nine times a year? I mean, I don't know if the NFL is similar to the MLB Players Association, but there could be some sort of contract that says, you know, the locker rooms have to meet this sort of standards. There have to be this amount of athletic trainers, this many weight room accommodations, because if we're being completely honest, that's one of the reasons why you're seeing minor league baseball die out so much here in the state of North Carolina. The, the, here's the thing, though. Like, there's no doubt that the $800 million was going to be spent, Right. The, the Panthers, it's what, a 29-year-old stadium. Uh, now that we know the new stadium isn't coming for 22 years, like there was an improvement that needed to happen. There's, there was no doubt in my mind the $800 million was going to be spent. It was whose $800 million is it going to be? Yeah. Was it all Tepper's? Or was the city of Charlotte and the taxpayer going to give $650 million of it? That's what the proposal was on. I mean, grand scheme of things, and I can't believe I'm about to say this, you know, obviously, Bank of America statement is used a lot more than just the home of the Carolina Panthers. You have David Tepper will the tell concerts. You. You know, David Taper will be the first one to tell you. You have Charlotte Football Club. You also have the Charlotte Sports Foundation with their mm-hmm. contracts where the Duke Mayo Classic and the Duke's Mayor Bowl is hosted along with the ACC Championship. So the $650 million renovation is needed. But here's the only thing. The product on the field has to deliver a lot more now, in my I, opinion. You, you've touched on one of my pet theories, but let, let, let me let me come back to that. All right. Uh, 
you don't want to play necessarily super hard ball with Tepper. And then only to have him pick up and go to San Antonio uh, or go to, to uh, I don't know, Toronto or one of these other places that is clamoring for a team. Because we've, like, I don't think Tepper cares as much what everybody thinks about him, right? Sure, if David Tepper were to pull the team and leave Charlotte, it would make him public enemy number one in North Carolina. But he doesn't strike me as the kind of guy that's like, you know what, public enemy number one is going to affect me. So, so you don't necessarily want like cuz part of me thinks that taxpayers and and elected officials and and Charlotte City Council members with votes should just look at him and say ha ha no pay for your own darn stadium <laughs> there was uh when when Bill Simmons hosted a show on HBO they had a commercial that was like yeah i believe the 86 Celtics are the best team ever and i believe da, 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 and i believe and then the last one was i believe billionaires should pay for their own bleeping stadiums and it was like ooh edgy but i do kind of believe that a billionaire should pay for their own bleeping stadiums i just don't know if it's worth planting your foot in the ground there and sticking to your guns if it means losing your team completely now we get to the pet theory right now you graham talked about the on field results I've long said this, what you should do, and I don't know if a team would ever agree to this, I don't know if it's legal technically, but if I were one of those city council members, I would work my hardest to check out the legality of, can we put some kind of, you unlock more taxpayer funding, the better the team is. So it's like, yeah, we're going we're gonna to put $700, $650 million aside and you get $50 million for every 10-win season you get. Every playoff win, you get $200 million. Some way that you have to earn it to make sure that teams aren't using your your taxpayer money as a cash cow for themselves without doing the thing that's going to energize the community. Because you can do that, right? David Tepper can take $650 million, throw in 150 of his own millions of dollars, and and turn the the Bank of America into a uh, state-of-the-art stadium and then not worry about winning football games and instead worry about bringing more and more concerts and making just printing cash that way. So I'm going, no, I want some kind of commitment that you're going to do the thing try to win every possible game because you know you see it in baseball and it's disgusting where teams are like yeah we, we, we can't win so we're just going to be as profitable as we can and we're going to bleed and milk all of our fans out of every last dollar they have and we're going to make money and we're going to finish dead last and and that's what i would be cautioning against i love when a, you see a lot of sports teams do this every now and then and i'm not trying to drag the carolina panthers through the mud when i give this example but you'll see these sports organizations that care deeply about their fan base and mm-hmm. i believe the carolina panthers as a whole care about not just the state of north carolina but south carolina you have the whole one carolina motto that they do <laughs> but you'll see where they'll put out these fan surveys where it's like how can we accommodate the game day experience what can we do to make the stadium better and nine times out of ten when it's a situation like we saw last season you'll just see option c or option d mm-hmm. make the team better because you'll You'll see so many comments, especially in a situation like this, where players or fans would say, I'll sit in level 500, I don't care, underneath a broken you know, light shade yep. or something, as long as the well, team's winning. I, I just think it's, it's like if you were to go to the taxpayers in Kansas City right now and say, would you mind shelling out a little bit extra of your tax money for a new stadium – they're going to be like, heck yeah, man. That team has brought me so much joy every Sunday. My uh, kids are giant Patrick Mahomes fans. Andy Reid is a national treasure. Travis Kelsey is great, right? Like, of course. But if you were to go to, um, I don't know, like the Falcons or something, uh, I'm trying to think of a bad team, um, or a team that hasn't won in a billion trillion the Raiders. years. Yeah if, you, if, yeah, if you were to go to Vegas and say, like, hey, more money for Mark Davis, they'd be like, no. I haven't won a darn thing. I mean, they just announced they're getting ready to do a luxury like tailgate club that costs at least two thousand dollars before each game, and tickets aren't included. It's just if so, you want to go and tailgate so, inside with air conditioning, you can you can pay that much money. So if we know that like the teams that win a bunch have no problem raising money, and the teams that lose a bunch and no one wants to embrace them, I'd be like, yeah, we'll give you the money when you win. Right? Put a great team on the field. We'll make sure the fans are energized enough to to. Uh, you know, give you the extra lights or the better seat backs or the more suites, luxury suites that you need. That's what I'm looking at. 